Psychedelics are substances like LSD, MDMA, psilocybin mushrooms, ayahuasca, and ibogaine. Psychedelic therapy occurs when a therapist administers a psychedelic substance to a patient in a controlled therapeutic setting. Psychedelic therapy used to be legal in the United States. Before it was made illegal, thousands of people were able to receive psychedelic-assisted psychotherapy for a variety of conditions. MAPS is asking for $50,000 to complete a Phase two study into MDMA-assisted psychotherapy as a treatment for PTSD. This study will play a vital role into one day making psychedelic-assisted psychotherapy legal again. Prior to doing the psychedelic-assisted psychotherapy, I had been in psychotherapy for on and off for probably 20 years and I had been on antidepressants for 15 years. I was also on um, medicine to help with anxiety. And I'm not on any of those medications anymore. I was a O331 uh, infantry machine gunner. I did two deployments to Iraq. My first one was Fallujah. The second one was to uh, Ramadi, Iraq. That's where uh, a lot of my, uh, I guess, traumatic events happened. But before the therapy, having PTSD was just a nightmare. One of the biggest things with that is a sense of hopelessness. When I had PTSD, I was very anxious. I had panic attacks. I was starting to get more and more isolated. Miraculously, I found the MAPS program, and that's the help that I really needed that really worked. We're trying to raise $50,000 to complete a fundamental study in our process of developing MDMA into a prescription medicine. We predict FDA approval for MDMA-assisted psychotherapy for PTSD by 2021. After my first session, I noticed my hypervigilance started going down right away. My memory was getting better, my pain was subsiding. I really did find, I guess, the healing that I needed for the combat experiences that I went through during my very first session. It just helped me to go so much deeper within my consciousness. I accepted that part of myself that I had cut off. Since I have finished the MDMA-assisted therapy, the world feels like a friendlier place, like a more loving place. The MDMA therapy really was just years packed into like a moment. Studies being conducted by MAPS have a waiting list of more than a thousand people who need help right now and believe psychedelic assisted psychotherapy could help improve their lives. This is only a small fraction of people worldwide who could benefit from these treatment options. My friends are still suffering. I just want to see my brothers and sisters get the help that I got. We just have to be able to offer this to more people. We're trying to um, complete the funding of this $1.4 million study through crowdfunding to help all sorts of people have a role in participating in making MDMA into an FDA-approved prescription medicine. The only way we can make psychedelic therapy legal is by completing more clinical trials. You can help legalize psychedelic therapy by donating to this campaign and sharing it with friends, family, and anyone you know who may be interested. We need your help to legalize psychedelic therapy.